Well, there's no question that this is a big, sloppy, stupid mistake. Claire McCaskill admitted in March to owing more than $300,000 worth of personal property taxes on her plane. She calls it an honest mistake. We wanted to know how often this is happening with other plane owners in Missouri. Investigator Ryan Kath found a lot of money flying out the window. Mark, if you live in Missouri, you're supposed to pay personal property tax for things like your car, your boat, and your plane. But our investigation found dozens of planes flying under the revenue radar. If you own an expensive jet or a small propeller-powered plane, you're supposed to pay taxes if you keep it in Missouri. Everyone I know who owns an airplane, the little guys, we all pay our property taxes when they're due. Rob Schmidt spent eight years building this plane from scratch. He keeps it at the Lee Summit Airport and forks over about 200 bucks per year to Jackson County for personal property taxes. He was stunned when Senator Claire McCaskill admitted to owing six figures of back taxes for the private plane she owns with her husband. I was a little bit uh, uh, perplexed on how that could possibly happen, to be honest. So how many other planes are flying tax-free in Missouri? The popular aviation website FlightAware.com gave us lists of all aircraft registered with the F. FAA in Platt, Clay, Jackson, and Cass counties. Working with local assessors and searching online databases, we cross-referenced hundreds of plane owners with personal property tax records. The numbers surprised us. Out of almost 500 plane owners, only a third of them showed up on the tax rolls. The rest had moved out of the county, didn't have a registered personal property account, or had paid taxes on vehicles and other items, but had not declared a plane. The system in Missouri relies on plane owners to report themselves and the rules can get a little confusing. So say you live in Jackson County and you own a personal plane anywhere in Missouri, you'd pay your taxes here. But say you live on the Kansas side of the state line, but keep your plane over in Missouri, you'd pay taxes to the county where it's hangered. And if you're a corporation that owns a plane like Hallmark, you don't pay taxes where the business is located, you pay them to the county where you park the corporate jet. How tough is it to know how many aircraft are in Clay County? It's almost impossible. Assessor Kathy Reinhardt knows her office is missing potential tax revenue at the Wheeler Downtown Airport. The runways are a magnet for Kansas City area corporate jets, but the assessor doesn't know how many companies should get a bill in the mail. There is no hammer to force anybody to give us information. It's a self-declaring state. They don't have to. We ask them, but they don't have to give it to us. We searched for corporate planes registered in surrounding counties that had active flight histories at Wheeler. And then started tracking planes like this one owned by GW Van Keppel. When we called the company president to ask about taxes, he told us no comment. The owner of Clarkson Construction also didn't give us an answer. And this KCK company mistakenly thought there was a business exemption for its plane. When we contacted Richard Owen about the jet registered to RFO LLC, we got a call back from his attorney saying his client would claim the plane this year. When we pressed about previous years, he told us the 2010 tax bill would also be paid because it wasn't worth fighting about. I find that a little bit incredulous to believe that there's corporations out there that aren't paying their fair share of taxes on property. The money we uncovered added up fast. In all, corporate planes we identified represent an estimated $220,000 of revenue on this year's Clay County tax rolls. If you factor in three years of back taxes with penalties and interest, that figure soars to more than $1 million. Legally, I could go back three years, but I don't. I start the day we find out about it. The assessor says it would be tough to know how long a plane has been based at a particular airport. Landed at Wheeler, mm -hmm. and then it was at Wheeler until January 8th. But using one plane's flight history, we showed her evidence that had been kept in her county for years. You could prove that if you wanted to. Yeah. Reinhardt says it's her policy to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and a fresh start, no matter how much their property is worth. Might frustrate some of your taxpayers here. If they were in the same boat, they'd want to be treated that way too. Because of our investigation, the assessor says more plane tax revenue will land in Clay County's budget. We have a lot more in our story online, including some of the other responses we got from plane owners we contacted. Just go to NBCActionNews.com and check it out. We'd also love to hear your comments about this story. Send me an email at Kath at NBCActionNews.com. You can also send me a message on Twitter 
or Facebook. Now, one of the problems here is the FAA registry. By all accounts, it's a mess. Some of the planes on the list are outdated. Others we found are actually sitting in scrapyards instead of hangars. Now, Mark and Cynthia, the FAA is actually in the midst of a three-year re-registration process of all personal aircraft. They're hoping that will help fix some of these problems for local assessors. Wow, you yeah. hope so. It does sound like it's impossible, she said, to track all this. Anything else to get to the bottom of this? Well, the assessor we talked to for the story would like to see some type of uh, statute that requires all airports to provide a list of all the airplanes on their property, but that doesn't mean people aren't going to try to get out of the taxes still. Just to yeah. give you a quick example, one of the companies we contacted told us their plane was in Johnson County. Mm -hmm. We checked the flight history. All 27 flights this year have been in or out of Wheeler. So, downtown. Wow. They're getting around it and Very good taking work. money. All right. Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Ryan.